An innocent man murdered simply for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mark Haig rushed to help after a car crashed in Fort Worth earlier this month. Moments later, he was so badly beaten, he never regained consciousness. Haig didn't have a place to call home, but as Todd Unger shows us, he certainly had a community who loved him. It's a Monday night. Welcome, come on in. At Enchilada Zole. Yes, a lot of the regulars are here. Yeah, show those pictures to his father, his family. To pay their respects to a man. Yeah, I'm Mike, I'm his brother. Who no longer is. Yeah. They were born our birthdays and the day we die. And I didn't want him to not be remembered at all. People here in this room can make a very big difference here. Mary Perez knew she had to do something for Mark Hegg, right a longtime because, friend. Um, this is his day. And part-time employee. Here making sure I got in safe and he would take all the chairs down off the table. A week and a half ago on a corner just outside of the restaurant. Mark was beaten unconscious, later died. But yeah, he's uh, it's I'm just I mean, he's just still in my heart. I, I'm going to miss him. That's <laughs> what I do is that cry. His brother Michael came tonight. I'm Brad. I'm Mark's younger brother. As did the rest of the family. Right, and what we'd like to try to do is they struggled for years to keep Mark off the streets. Sad, that's their lifestyle and it's very hard for them to um, to really to integrate with other people. I'm sure you're going to find people that uh, he's just a homeless dude, you know, but no, he was just one of those people you couldn't help but like. Danny Brindley came too. We were living right over here at the Palm Tree Apartments when this was taken. Yeah. The friend who deep fried a turkey with Mark only last Christmas. There was no sense in this. It was senseless. A fugitive task force finally arrested Jeremy Johnson for murder over the weekend. And I'm calling you say a little poetic justice, say those who were already set to say goodbye this evening. It's a loss to the whole world, not just us. They took one of God's greatest gifts. Mark Haig was 58 years old. Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.